Hi everyone, it's Gail Tolstoy Miller and welcome to another episode of Career Core Confessions. I know I've been off the radar for a while and I've been doing a lot of soul searching and I just wanted to provide you a couple of updates. Since my TEDx talk, there's been quite a few changes. Um, if you haven't already seen my TEDx talk, I'll just give you a brief overview. Um, I discuss my 20 years of recruiting experience and uh, my experiences with unconscious bias in the recruiting process and I provide examples of it. And then I also go into how I felt like like an accomplice, um, being part of this and being frustrated with it. And I almost left the industry because of it. And then I discuss my solution to it, the so what test. Um, so for instance, if someone you're interviewing someone and you don't like their shoes and that could, could actually impact your hiring decision, you have to ask yourself, how does this, um, pertain to the job? Is it important? And it's kind of like a big, so what? So it's about focusing on what matters, um, in the hiring practice. Um, and that's kind of like my solution. It helps bring awareness and it helps you question some of the decisions that you make in the hiring process. So, um, lately I've been very, um, how do I say, uh, not really happy with what's going on. I don't see much change at all. And, you know, there's a lot going on. It seems like there's a lot of change going on, right? Positive change and companies are spending millions and millions of dollars and new programs and diversity and all that. But I will tell you, being an insider, um, I work with organizations of all different sizes, um, small to, you know, large Fortune 500 organizations that have, you know, very rich diversity programs um, that are on the forefront. But I can tell you, they pick and choose um, what they define as diverse. And I'm just really frustrated with it. So that being said, I can no longer be an accomplice to it. And I've decided that I can no longer recruit. Um, I love recruiting. I love um, and have a passion for helping people find their dream job and introducing them to organizations and then having the organization grow because of the talent that I provide. But the, I'm going to put it in a very simple way, straightforward way, the BS that I'm seeing in corporate America is unfortunately overshadowing my love for what I do and I can no longer take it anymore. I am at my breaking breaking point and I can no longer do it. I am no longer fulfilled. I can't deal with the BS. Um, it's just very disheartening um, to what I'm seeing. So yes, a lot of companies have all the check boxes marked off as far as diversity, but they pick and choose. So for example, you know, they're not going to hire that 65 year old. They're not going to hire that cross dresser that walks through the door. Um, there's a lot of lack of diversity in thought. Um, so we have a long way to go. And, you know, as far as HR and recruiting, we all got into this because we want to help people. It's a people industry, but the problem with our industry and I'm going to call it out, is the lack of being bold. Um, and and that's, that's really it. It's a lack of being bold and doing the right thing. We still have plenty of sexual harassment going on. We have pay inequality. We have discrimination. And it's really HR and recruiter, recruiting's job to alleviate that. And, you know, we're allowing, uh, you know, managers to stay in organizations that have sexually harassed people over the years. Why isn't HR doing anything about it? Um, you know, I can't tell you how many times recruiters will say, I don't have any feedback. I haven't spoke, spoken to the hiring manager in a week. How the heck does that happen? You know, it's like, don't you have a process that you have that they must provide 24 hours, within 24 hours uh, feedback? When I was on the corporate side, that was part of my process that hiring managers have to provide feedback within 24 hours. So we're being very lax about our process. We're picking and choosing and we're fearful. You know, it's really interesting to me. And I've said this for a very long time. Um, the reason why we have a job title strategic HR business partner is because we know deep down that HR lacks strategy. They're not being strategic. They're not being true strategic partners. They're just being part of the corporate politics and perpetuating the corporate politics that's going on. So they're not really change agents that they want to be. Um, also you'll hear a lot of like, oh, let's have a seat at the table. Well, guess what? You may have a seat at the table, but your chair is empty. Um, because if you did really want change, you would speak up. And the reason why it's not happening is because either you're complacent or you're scared, you're fearful, because if you speak up and you go against the grain, 
um, and you do what's right, you may lose your job or you may not get that promotion or you're going to be viewed as the problem person. Um, and, and that's why these things are happening. And that's why recruiters and recruiting departments and HR, they're not being as influential as they need to be because they're not doing the right thing and they're not expressing what really needs to happen. Um, the right thing, the right thing that needs to happen. Um, we all have great intentions, but somehow we become part of the problem um, and we need to take responsibility for that. And I can no longer be a part of this, um, but I do want to help change it. Um, my life is too short and I will never live with regret. And if I continue one more day recruiting, I will have regret because I am not doing anything to change what's going on and what I'm seeing. I can't, I can't do it anymore. So I'm changing consultant networks into a strategic recruiting organization where I'm going to help organizations find their voice, help them be bold, help them with their process. Um, I also have a lot of speaking engagements, so I'm going to be doing a lot of that, which I'm really excited about and helping, you know, everybody find their voice and be bold. You know, before I got into recruiting, I was in the music industry where it's kind of rebelish, um, uh, very artistic, expressive, a lot of misfits, and you can be however you want to be. And I feel like that's kind of like who I really am. I was anti-establishment then, and I've kind of am now, and that's what's making me do this. But not in a bad way, but a good way. Um, I just want to see things get better, and I want to help you guys get there. So you're going to see more videos from me. Um, my website's going to change, Consult Networks, and I just look forward to new beginnings and I look forward to helping um, our industry um, in a positive way. You could call me delusional, idealistic, unrealistic. It doesn't matter. I just have to do what's right within me. And maybe you know, if, even if I help a couple of organizations and people realize that they want to change and give them the courage, it's worth it. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And feel free to comment. Here's to being bold.